Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. I do apologize Virgo, I know it's taken some time to get this new love reading out, but life has just been very busy, so thank you for your patience. Um, but just remember, energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person, someone new in Virgo's life or coming in, how do they feel about Virgo? Okay, right away. We have the Knight of Swords. They feel like they need to hurry up and tell you something here. Hold on. The sun and the six of cups. You remind this person of the past in the best way here. And when I say the past, it, it could mean like, you know, when they were younger, they always thought about having um, a connection like this, or they just feel like a kid again with you. Um, I see a lot of comments, you know, can this be the past, someone I actually already have history with, coming back with new energy? Yeah, for sure, it could be. Look for clues throughout the reading, use your intuition. Love can be a past romantic connection. We can love our friends, right? So just use your discernment. Um, you're the expert, you know best. Could be a Leo energy. But someone here feels like, yeah, you... Like the world just kind of disappears when the two of you are together in the best way possible here. Like this is them feeling nostalgic around you. Like even if they've just met you, like it's almost just like, oh, I've always wanted to do this or I've always wanted to feel this way. Um, or the last time I felt this way, like so happy and so carefree was when I was a kid. Like, I don't know. There's just something here where this, this person just feels like the two of you get together and the world just disappears here. They feel really good. They feel really happy. They feel like you're like a bundle of joy here, Virgo. <laughs> like you are always able to find like the positive. Um, you're very, he, he might make a lot of jokes. Um, yeah, you just have really like bright, like light energy about you. And this person feels like they need to hurry up and tell you. Um, the star this person feels like you're a huge part of their healing journey in some way they could even tell you this they could even say something like virgo you know i've worked a lot on myself and i feel like you're the result of that this person could have been like in really toxic patterns before um, or maybe you were and they see how far you've come how far you've healed right how much you've healed so far in your life and this person feels inspired by you right um there's a lot of good energy here. It could be an Aquarius. This person feels hopeful for the future. They just, they get excited about you and about them. Virgo. Yeah, temperance. Wow. Um, Sagittarius energy here. This is someone who sees you as very calm, very patient, very compromising, very willing to sort of, you're, you're very understanding. Um, this person feels really, really good around you. Why the Knight of Swords? Because this person feels like they need to hurry up and tell you. The Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. That you know what they're doing? They're they're working on how to tell you. <laughs> this person's putting in like effort to let you know that like you have sparked something in them. They're working on how to say it to you. They don't know how to say it, 
right? So maybe the conversation is just going great or it will go great if you haven't met them just yet. And they're like immediately feeling like, wow, like I feel like my fire is lit again with Virgo here. Now, if this is a romantic connection, there's definitely a strong physical attraction here. Um, if not, I just feel like the two of you just see eye to eye on a lot of things. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of passion here. This person's like, I need to hurry up and figure out exactly how I'm going to tell Virgo this. Um, because they don't want to lose this. They don't want to get rid of this feeling. This feeling feels really good. You know, they feel on top of the world here. Um, so how does Virgo feel about this person? Five of Swords. Interesting. You may feel like this person plays mind games here. You, you, you don't know if you trust them fully. The Empress. The Six of Wands. The Five of Wands. We're getting five, five here. Hmm. Now, I'm getting two stories pretty strongly. One of you could feel like there's a feminine energy in their life, whether it's a mother figure or um, maybe they have children with, with this person, that you feel like you don't know if you can fully trust the situation yet because there's someone else still lingering here. And you're like, I don't want to have to fight for this person's attention or you feel like you might have to. Like there's almost like There's almost like this worry that you're having Virgo and maybe it is based on what this person's already shown you but some of it is like it's like you're just preparing yourself you're preparing yourself well you know okay if they have children with this person that means I'm gonna have to deal with this or I'm gonna have to deal with that it's like you're already thinking of scenarios that haven't necessarily happened yet um so if that doesn't resonate I'm also getting I feel like you're in this empress energy here Virgo you're in this um you know I'm not going to chase, I'm not going to do anything that doesn't align with my energy that I'm trying to uphold right now. And you just wonder if this person will do that to you. You've come so far. So it's almost kind of like you're fighting yourself here. You're almost like, is this person playing games with me? Can I trust them? There might even be like a bit of like testing a little bit here. Why is the six of wands here? The Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, yeah. So, again, this is screaming to me, like, will this person work together with me? Will we be on the same team? Or am I going to have to carry this relationship or this friendship like I have in the past? And if that's not resonating, like I said, there's someone else here. There's someone else here, so you're a little guarded. You're like, I don't know if I want to get involved with this. Or, like, I just imagine there being issues or drama. Or, you know, maybe this person will play with me. And, you know, I'll, I'll miss the red flags. But the thing is, Virgo, you've been through so much, you've come so far that we'll see this person's actions and their intentions, right? And the situation is going to be different for everyone. But even if it does end up where this person's messing with you, which is unfortunate, right? And I don't condone that in any way. You also know that you have the tools to overcome it, right? Like, it's not like it's going to be a situation where you're like, I won't know what to do. I won't know how to recover from that. And that's not to say like, oh, who cares if it happens? It's just reminding you of your power, right? That, that even if this person does mess with you, you're, you, you'll be able to come from it. You'll overcome it. Sorry. That's what I meant to say. Um, so just don't forget your power there, right? With that Empress energy. But I do feel like, and maybe it's both. Maybe it's you're like, I don't know if I want to deal with this situation. You're guarded because there's another feminine energy, right? Maybe both storylines fit. Um, take what resonates. And if that doesn't fit at all, and you're like, that's not how I feel about this person at all, then I encourage you to check your other placements. Um, I will be posting the Capricorn reading today as well, and I did already post the Taurus, so there could be something in there. But we have Taurus, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius energy so far. Um, also Aries. Did I already say that? No. Um, yeah, so look out for 5-5 five, five as well. But let's see this person's actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Oh, wow. The Ten of Cups. This person is trying to make you happy here. Judgment, the Queen of Swords. They're going to have some sort of serious conversation with you here. And this conversation here, Virgo, is about like, listen, I'm not messing around. This is what I want from you, Virgo. This is how I see it going. This is this is why I want a chance. 
this person is going to do whatever it takes in this next bit to like show you that they're it for you. Now, again, whether you trust them or not is going to be different, but that's their actions here. This person's like I, straight, straight up. I just need to tell you, Virgo, why judgment? This person wants this chance with you because they can't stop thinking about this. Nine of Swords. There's something about this connection here, Virgo, that this person can't stop thinking about it. There's sleepless nights here. They're probably dreaming about you too. Like this person feels uneasy when the two of you are not good or when the two of you, yeah, or when they're not speaking to you or if there has been an argument or if you're worrying and you think that they're going to play with you, like mess with you or whatever. Um, it doesn't sit well with this person. Anything else about that Nine of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. They're just waiting for the right time to come forward, but it's going to be within the next few weeks here. Tell me about that Queen of Swords. They're, they're like, I just need to go for it. And that was sort of the energy I was getting for how they feel. They need to hurry up and tell you something. Maybe they feel like time is running out. Um, Eight of Cups. So for those of you who feel like you already have a history with this person and they're coming back with new energy, they could explain to you why they walked away or why they've been emotionally distant or um, how they have been in the past, right? I feel like, because the Eight of Cups and Ten of Cups, it just, it, what it is is this person explaining is what I'm getting. Being very straightforward, being very blunt, being very much like, listen, I could even see this person saying like, they have a lot to say, is what I'm getting with this Queen of Swords, but I can see them saying, listen, um, you know, I don't usually do this. And here's the thing, I know myself, if I'm making all this effort and I don't hear from you, Virgo, I'm, I'm just gonna disconnect. That's how I usually do things, right? But I don't wanna do that with you. I wanna have this happiness with you. Like, I feel like this person's gonna be very, very straightforward, like maybe straight, more straightforward than you're used to, um, Virgo, but that's just, this. This person might be an air sign, but that's just how they are. So expect like a very direct conversation from this person in the next little bit. Um, anything else about that Queen of Swords? They don't want to miss out. Four of Cups. They, like they don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You see how this four? I love that this Four of Cups, the cup behind them is with the rainbow, and that's all about the Ten of Cups, right? Like this person's like, I can see us being best of friends or, you know, being in this connection, this relationship, whatever kind of, you know, um, connection this is for you, Virgo. And they're like, I don't want to miss out on that. But also just so you know, if time goes by and we don't talk or it just feels like it's fading, like I'm probably just going to forget about it. Like this person, I don't know. It's almost like they're like now or never kind of energy. So what's this person's intentions then with Virgo? The Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Swords, wow, and the Ace of Cups, Virgo. So you have someone here who, first of all, I think they wanna like show something off to you. I was kind of getting that with the Six of Wands there too. You might feel like this person's kind of a bit of a show off. This person, they wanna show you like, look, Virgo, I can stand on my own two feet, but I want you a part of what I'm doing here. They want to be honest with you. Their intention here is to be romantic, if that's relevant, to show you that they care about you, to show you that you've sparked this interest. You have three aces on the board for a new love reading. That's really, really good, Virgo, right? Like this is someone who's like, I see this as a fresh start, even if it is someone from your past with that judgment card. That's the card of second chances, right? Or... And second chances can be because you two have history, but for those of you who are like, no, this is not my ex, there's no way. Um, second chance is just at love or at a connection because they've already been through something here, right? Um, but this person, like they intend to be honest here. They intend to speak from the heart. Like I said, with that queen of swords, no bullshit. I can't believe I just said that. I usually don't swear on my channel because YouTube doesn't like it, but it just came out. So this person, I'm telling you, they're very straightforward. They're very much like, this is how it is. Like, I'm not sugarcoating. Um, <laughs> I might have to beep that out. We'll see. <laughs> um, but this person, their intentions are good. Their intentions are really, really good. Like, they don't want to mess around. They're telling the truth here. I feel like you just, you, there's a situation here with someone else, or it's just, it's hard to trust in general, but it looks like they're, they're going to do their best here. 
So what's the potential outcome then? Nine of Wands, still that guardedness, right? Wounded warrior energy, yeah. You've been through some things, Virgo, right? This person's gonna have to earn your trust. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? But we did get the Knight of Wands. Honestly, I, I gotta be honest with you, Virgo. Even if you're even if you're cross watching and you're like, I'm watching for a Virgo, I have no Virgo in my chart. Whoever's watching this, I feel like this is you kind of putting up a wall here. I feel like this is you putting up a wall because you can't you can't trust this energy. You're like, I don't know if you're telling the truth. Now, if their intentions came out, seven of swords, knight of wands, um, you know, eight of cups, I would have been like, Virgo, run. This person's just putting on a show. I think what this is, is this is this connection is teaching you that you can trust people, but it's hard to do. It's hard to do. You two are gonna have some really deep conversations I'm seeing with this king and queen of swords. Um, but you almost feel like you have to like have your guard up with this person and they see it and they get it. They're like, all right, Virgo, like I understand you've been through some things, right? I'm not going to fight you on that. Um, but here's the thing, like I said before, Virgo, this person's like, all right, if I'm trying and trying and trying and you just keep pushing me away or you keep, you know, um, playing games with me or being inconsistent, this person will just walk away. There's a reason I picked that up in their actions right? Because there, there could be a bit of back and forth here between the two of you, but because you're very guarded and that's not to call you out or say, well, I guess it is kind of to call you out Virgo or whoever's watching. Um, it's just to say, you know, we can't ask for love and ask for a new connection and be completely guarded at the same time. It's like asking for, um, you the most delicious meal and then being like, but I'm not hungry. It's like, so what am I supposed to do with this food then? I guess I'll just take it back. Like, I'm, I, you know, we're just going to sit here, right? So that's what this person's saying. This person's like, I'm going to try with you, Virgo, but I'm not just going to sit here forever. Um, there's, a, yeah, that, that's making much more sense now that I was picking that up in their actions, this very direct conversation. So just be aware of that, Virgo. Like, you know, I'm not saying you have to let your guard down 100% with this person right away. Um, but I feel like their intentions are good. Use your intuition right? Because some people are tricky. It can be hard to tell who's telling the truth and who's not. But I just see a lot of like a big wall up here. Um, yeah. So how will Virgo know who this is? Any specific details about this person? The Hierophant. This is someone who might be very traditional, could be a Taurus. Um, maybe someone who's like kind of like goes by the rules a little bit or like yeah, it's just like a rule follower, you could say. Um, but likes com like wants commitment, and we got the high priestess, Pisces energy. Like this is this is a very like high vibe person, right? Like this is someone who I honestly feel like Virgo. It's gonna feel like too good to be true, and that's why there's this guard up. Right, but this person could be a Pisces. They're also very intuitive, right? Like they're in tune with you. They can, they get it is what I'm getting. Like they understand why you're guarded and things like that. But they're also like, but hey, like I'm also not, you know, a, a play toy. Like if you're going to play with me, I'm not going to stand for that. I will walk away. Right. And that's not to give you an ultimatum, Virgo. It's more to just say, hey, like, you know, let me in a little bit here. Let's just see where we can, where we can take this. Um, trust me, I get it, Virgo. Letting people in, especially after you've been through some things or you've like gone through some really significant healing journey with um, certain people or whatever it is, it can be hard to be like, I'm just going to let someone in now. Like It's like the world can feel scary. Um, so what's your advice for Virgo? The Seven of Swords. The Queen. Of you know what, Virgo? It's almost like you're trying to hide the fact that you have such a big heart because you're like, the last time I let my heart so open and gave it to someone, whether it was a friend or a rom romance or family or maybe you've just had patterns of this in general, you're like, people just take advantage of it. People just try to take advantage of it. Like, I feel like deep down you are this big sweetheart with the biggest heart ever, very compassionate, very understanding, very loving, very giving, and you're like, you know what though? I've given it to the wrong people. 
I don't want to give to the wrong person again. Right? So it's almost like you're trying to hide that part of you, but it's like you can show parts of that. Like I said, you don't have to be the queen of cups right away with this person and give them all everything right away. You can let them earn it over time. But, but the wall has to consistently come down over time. It can't be like, okay, you know, after, I don't know, three months, I let down some of my wall, but this other huge part of my wall is not coming down. Like, not at all, right? Stand off. That's where I feel like this person's going to be like, what? Like, I've been trying, you know? Um, I don't know how else to put that, but... So be your true self here, Virgo. But like I said, you don't have to let everything in or everything down right away. Um, but don't try to hide it, is what I would say. You got spies. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. So maybe you've been talking to this person or you already know who this is. Um, you're doing your research too because you want to understand the situation. Could be at a distance. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Let's see if there's any more from here. For Virgo, please, Spirit, thank you for the messages so far. Uh, pets, getting a new pet or giving a current pet more love. Maybe that's just extra confirmation that this is your reading. Maybe you're even looking at getting a new pet. Maybe your friend just did and you just went and visited the new pet, right? Doesn't always have to be exactly you. And yeah, I was picking up heavy air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be with this person. Um, let's see if there's any tea leaf cards for you. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead, right? So like I said, you don't have to rush. You don't. Um, but the tortoise doesn't just stop, right? It's not like, okay, we came this far. I let you in this much. The end, that's it. We're just going to stop here and stay here. It's like there still has to be like consistent progress. I hope I'm making sense with my analogies because... <laughs> Let's see. Can, look, communicate clearly. And you will, king and queen of swords here. You will. Um, maybe even letting this person know, look, I've been through some things. It's going to take me some time, right? This is what makes me nervous, or this is what makes me feel like you're, you're, I can't trust you, or these are my red flags. If you tell a person, Virgo, here's what I like and here's what I don't like, you're literally giving them the recipe, and if they follow that recipe and they're like, okay, Virgo doesn't like if I don't check in, you know, text, texting, or I don't make plans, or I don't take the initiative, but then they change that, then you know, right? If you're just sort of like, I expect this person to just read my mind and just know what I like and know what my red flags are and my green flags are, um, they, they won't know, right? So communicate clearly and then look at it within the next few months. So something's happening here for sure, Virgo. Let's see. Look at it. patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Okay, you got this. You got the tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. It's like you you will eventually feel comfortable, right? Everyone takes their time to heal from wounds, and I get it. And there's no right or wrong timeline. Um, but if you're actively looking for a new connection, Virgo, there has to be some, some compromise there is what I'm getting. Your guides are really um, hammering this message home here, Virgo. Sur surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. So just enjoy, right? Because this person's coming with Ten of Cups energy in the next bit here, Virgo. That might feel too good to be true. That might feel like, what's the catch? That might feel like, I'm not going to let my guard down again. Last time I did that, look what happened. Just surrender. Surrender to the sweetness here. And again, remember, if this person plays you, which it doesn't feel like they will, um, but if, if they do, you have the strength, the tools, the resilience to overcome that. Right? It's not going to feel good. But it doesn't look like that's what's going to happen here. It looks like you're more guarded or whoever's watching this reading is more guarded. So surrender to the sweetness. You see how these two people too, like this figure, she's like out here and this one's like in the water and he's kind of like, come on in, like the water's great. And she's like, oh, I don't know if I want to go in there. That's kind of what this feels like, right? You kind of just have to maybe not jump in, but at least put your feet in, see what the water's like. Right? 
Um, let's see. Messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Here and now. That's it. That's it. Okay, number 32, which 3 plus 2 is 5. So you're getting 5s. 5 is overcoming obstacles, right? So the best way to overcome our fear is to face it head on. And if our fear is to get hurt again, it's like, well, the only way I'll know is if I try, right? Um, it's easy to yearn for a love affair or friendship you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your reach and yesterday cannot return. The now is all that is available to you. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit to feel the joy of love in the here and now. So not worrying about the future and not ruminating, ruminating on the past. Being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. Look, I literally got patience, I got tortoise, surrender, and now here and now, right? Like literally spirit's just asking you, just be here. Because a lot of what you felt for this person, Virgo, is are they going to do this? Are they going to do that? Is it going to be this? Can I trust them? Is it going to be, you know, how is this going to work? Like there's a lot of, I'm surprised the nine of swords didn't come out for you. That's a lot of like, things, like anxious thinking. And trust me, I get it. But Spirit's just asking you, just be here now. Take it day by day. Right? Um, but I mean, if you have more questions, Virgo, check out my link down below in the description. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice. Your first five minutes will be completely free. Um, I also have a couple more links there if that one doesn't feel like it fits for you. So make sure you check out those links in my description box. So let's see. Okay. We only got letters today. Um, so these could, be a, <laughs> these could be initials of you, of this person. Um, Maybe license plates, zip codes, postal codes, just take it as it resonates. I'm laughing because of what I'm seeing it spells out. Um, if something doesn't resonate though, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So we got S, O, F, T, and I. To me that says softy, right? So sometimes we have to soften up. Um, Virgo, right? Like I said, it doesn't mean letting this person in and being completely vulnerable with them right away, but softening up a little bit um, could help here. So I really hope that resonated Virgo. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so, so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and so much light.